driving in Texas is already like like Best Buy on Black Friday. Pure and utter chaos. And then when you add me to that, that's like putting Draymond Green in the room with Jordan Poole. So according to my um driving record, I can't drive. I mean, I can get from point A to point B. Like, I really think it's other drivers' faults that it looks like I'm a bad driver. Like, think of merging, for instance, right? Now you have two options. Let me merge or hit my car going 80 miles per hour. Texans are choosing an 80 mile per hour collision in a heartbeat. Like, why are y'all like this? Every driving tip you learned in driver's ed, forget it, it doesn't work here. In Texas, there's only two different lanes. You got the fast lane, and then you got the- I don't have friends. I got family. Lane, cause you would swear these people were racing Vin Diesel with how fast they were going. Also, the speed limit is 85, no matter where you are. Anything slower than that, and you're gonna end up like Han in Tokyo Drift. Forget Fast and Furious, I'm gassed and delirious, cause why are y'all driving like this? Since the time that I got my license, I've gotten two speeding tickets and have had three wrecks, most of which are my fault. Okay, all of them are my fault. But listen, listen, I know how to drive. My very first accident, it was a normal morning. A typical morning during the time would be, I take my mom to work and I would use her car to go to school as I was in the early stages of my car search. So just like normal, I drop my mom off and I decide I'm a little hungry. So I stopped by a neighboring McDonald's that was across the street from my mother's job. I get my food and turn into the middle lane to merge into traffic. There's a car ahead of me that's about to make a left turn. I'm waiting for them to move before merging and there's an opening for them to go. So expecting them to take their opportunity, I press on the gas. Turns out they didn't take their opportunity. I mash on the brakes, but it's too late. Bam! I run into the back of the car. Now this is my very first wreck. I didn't know wreck protocol. I'm looking for the caution lights and I can't find them, which causes me to panic. Then to make it worse, Traffic is piling up behind me. I've never seen so many cars in the turning lane in my life. Now, I know that you're supposed to call the police anytime you're involved in a car accident, but me being a black man in America, I'm not calling the police, but I look to my right and I see a constable parked at this gas station right across from my whole situation. I'm watching a cop pull out of the gas station and then he makes a right turn and drives away. Not to mention the people in the car in front of me never got out of the car to make sure I was okay or anything. So all of these events combined on top of my crippling anxiety during this situation is what made me do what I did next. I drive off in GTA. Bro, I panicked as I'm driving home. I'm nervous AF because if there's any damage to my mom's car, you might as well call me Jody the way she gonna choke me out and make me call for it. The craziest part is halfway home. I pulled over to assess the damage done to her front bumper. It can't be that bad. I barely tapped. Bro, her bumper was fucked. So I get home and I'm thinking, what can I tell my mom happened to eat some of her wrath that she's gonna unleash upon me? Yeah, I came up with nothing and I ended up just telling her what happened. She never got that bumper fix neither. Probably cause shortly after I totaled her car, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a touchy topic for me. I mean, I can still joke about it, but ultimately I was supposed to be packed up this day. Like the way everything just kind of was eerie the night before. I rekindled a friendship after months of not talking. And then that morning, my mom just had a hunch that the day was gonna get worse. Like she literally said, this day's gonna get worse. I can feel it. And I wouldn't know what she meant until later. I'm going through the day like normal and I make it home after work. I'm hungry, so I ate. I ate three glizzies, bro. I ate three hot dogs and I'm not gonna lie. I'm a glizzy connoisseur. I will eat many glizzies if they off the barbecue pit. So I demolished these hot dogs and I ended up taking a nap before I had to go get my mom from work. About 40 minutes later, I woke up just in time to go pick my mom up. But before I left, I asked my brother and sister if they wanted to come with me. They both say no, so I hop on the road. I make it half the trip until my eyes start to get 
heavy. To combat this, I turn the music up. I don't know why I thought that would work because I ride with the music blasting naturally. So honestly, it's like I'm in my natural habitat. I make it like 30 seconds up the road until... <sighs> Yes, I almost died to glizzies. I open my eyes and I'm airborne for a couple seconds and boom! All the airbags deploy and I land in a ditch on the side of the road. I'm so much in shock. My foot was still on the gas pedal when the car stopped. I get out of the car and I see three people running towards me. Uh, oh my goodness, are you all right? Uh, my... What, what? My, my mom is gonna kill me oh yeah most definitely but let's make sure you're okay first we ended up calling 911 and my mom and bro when my mom arrived at the scene of the wreck and came inside of that hardware store and i saw her crying and all she could do was hug me and while hugging her i realized something she almost lost her oldest son at the age of 19 and at the time i hadn't done anything that i could ultimately say i was proud of that moment was when I decided I really had to chase after what I wanted and live like every day was my last because tomorrow is never promised. Also, tell your family you love them every chance you get. If that was my last day, I would have left without having said it. I know this video wasn't as playful as my usual vids, but I feel like this needed to reach somebody. This has been a crazy year and I mean that in a good and a bad way. So yeah, just cherish your time here. Don't take it for granted. Y'all stay blessed. Thanks for watching. And by all means, do not drive while tired, under the influence, none of that. I'm out. I've been sipping on bubbly. I've been counting money up just like one, two, three. He a copy, really a wannabe. He a junior, really another me. I'm not that like you want a bitch economy. I don't fool, do you ain't getting nothing free. Talking wrong, boy, that's another fee. I ain't worried about them, believe that don't be under me. My pocket fat like a.